Hello Pisces and welcome to your June 2018 tarot readings with me. Dear Pisces, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe so that you're notified every time I release a new video. So dear Pisces, let's get started for a very happening month ahead. So the first week of the month of June sees you socializing. You are socializing, you are meeting lots of people through conferences, through meetings, through events, through parties. Uh, there is something happening around um, your place. Maybe there is a get together organized and you're meeting lots of people. You're making a lot of new contacts in the first week of June, dear Pisces. And uh, through these contacts, you are going to meet some people key people who are going to get you opportunities and some of you uh, might well land up with opportunities at the same moment that is in the first week of june some new opportunities regarding job uh, uh, regarding your personal life if you're single uh, are going to come up you are going to meet uh, this uh, you know nice lovely stranger <laughs> that <laughs> that you uh, you know bond well with and uh, maybe there is something more to do later on with them and um, professionally speaking you might land up uh, into a, a group wherein you you are uh, how do you say you meet opportunities through those people okay they will provide you some information wherein you can get an opportunity through this information or these other hidden opportunities so please take these opportunities whichever come in the first week of june however i would like to caution you also is that when you're socializing my dear pisces um, know that everyone is not sincere uh, in the group that you're socializing especially the new ones okay so uh, go slow don't trust a stranger immediately go really slow uh, take baby steps towards um, knowing the person well before you uh, you know open up your heart to them or before you give out uh, i would say before you just you know tell them everything about yourself right go slow um be an observer in the first week i would say and take time to know the people well before you open up to them because there are some people uh, in the first week of june in this kind of social uh, settings um, who are not really trustworthy okay so don't give any chance to anyone to hurt you later in life that's the hidden message okay and then with this first week of parting and of uh, you know meetings and opportunities and um, making new friends you are going to the second week now what is in store for Pisces for the second week well it is all about something good again because there is the divine intervention into whatever you do there is a maternal divine ma mother's energy in whatever you are going to do in the second week maybe it is also related to your own mother that you take a break you go and meet your mother or your mother is coming uh, she's traveling to you and you know you get to see your mother there is an exchange between you and your mother regarding some issues or regarding some guidance that you need there is a heart to heart talk with your mother in the second week is what i see i also see that whatever your projects are the personal the professional the spiritual projects or regarding things of your health this is a wonderful wonderful energy week my dear pisces because i would say it's almost magical because if even if you are encountering difficulties, be it in your professional field, be it in your personal field, uh, be it related to your health, then a kind of a, a very positive energy comes and just, you know, evens it all out. Isn't it wonderful, my dear Pisces? I mean, imagine uh, everyone would like to have this kind of energy in their life that no matter what obstacle comes, uh, somebody comes and removes the roadblocks and... Uh, you have the way you have you know you will gain momentum and you are propelled uh, in the further direction so this is the type of energy that is coming so if you if i have to make a link between the first and the second week opportunities coming uh, in the first week 
uh, they are uh, coming to fruition in the second week and uh, no matter what those uh, certain obstacles were uh, in order to grab this opportunity they are getting dissipated and uh, dispersed and you are again going ahead my dear Pisces this is what we see further second week and in the second week if you've had any kind of health issues my dear Pisces then this is a good time to uh, you know get healed once and for all you're going to find a kind of a sort of a remedy is going to come or somebody's going to suggest to you something um, I would almost say some kind of energetic healing is going to take place for some of you and some kind of different ways to heal yourself are going to be presented to you in the second week my dear Pisces and now we go to the third week what is the third week's energy about the third week's energy is all about balancing and it's all about harmony and this harmony is related to your material sphere of life if you have been having um, some kind of problems related to your money matters related to maybe some loans that you had taken in the past how to repay them or this kind of you know or some kind of money problems that were bothering you uh, take heart my dear Pisces because help is arriving in the third week whatever is going to happen in the third week whatever the energy uh, is of the third week I see that it has an element of making you comfortable financially so most probably many of the Pisces uh, can land up uh, into that first week opportunity so land up into jobs or which are very well paid or you can have a contract that is uh, you know giving you a kind of a wonderful package uh, or an amount or you can also have a salary raise for your job well done my dear Pisces so all in all it looks very promising for the financial sphere in the third week whatever the botherations of the past are going to be removed I feel Pisces are going to be quite blessed in the month of June because um, opportunities job money love everything is you know uh, in the prosperity period I would say so that's nice no yes and um, I also see my dear Pisces is that in the third week you will feel uh, as if you have finally achieved a kind of a harmony and satisfaction regarding your financial stability you are going to feel the well-being all around you in the third week this well-being is going to be uh, related to your personal life too uh, like things are going nice and uh, you are meeting a lot of people once again and you're meeting your loved ones my dear Pisces in the third week this is what I see for you also so I, all in all I see this kind of um, wonderful uh, well-being that is around you related to your um, personal life and your professional life spiritually if you want to enter into a spiritual uh, depth in the third week my dear Pisces it is a wonderful time because the energy is that of well-being so when you have this well-being around you what happens is that uh, you spiritually too you can rise or raise inside of you and uh, many Pisces might enter into meditation yoga um, different energetic healing th practices some kind of therapies uh, or some of you might just go for some thermal cures or things like that and somehow you will find uh, that you are wanting to align your body and soul my dear Pisces and so the third week is all about ending the financial problems so I see uh, um, you, you're, you are swimming well <laughs> this month dear Pisces and then that is not all because we are coming to the fourth week and what is the fourth week about in the fourth week you are meeting special people 
if it is related to the job you are making connection with the higher ups the authority maybe you have an appointment with the director with the ceo or you yourself are gaining that post uh, in the in the fourth week and you are meeting your new team you're in the managerial position maybe in the fourth week because this energy is all about networking and meeting as far as the personal field is concerned you are meeting someone um, of a romantic interest or somebody is going to propose you in the fourth week of June there is a significant meeting for the Pisces singles in the fourth week a promising meeting uh, dear Pisces but I advise those of the Pisces who are already in a committed relationship Please take care because the fourth week is full of temptations, okay? So my dear Pisces, if you are in a committed relationship, I'd like to suggest to you, my dear Pisces, that please don't get into any mess, okay? Because there are going to be a lot of temptations for you in the fourth week. You will meet a lot of uh, people who, and maybe a few of them are going to be more interesting than your existing partner. But that does not mean that you get carried away, okay? Because um, you are going to be quite, your heart is going to be open. So, and as you are going to be very excited with everything is going nicely, everything is so fine that you might fall a trap um, to get carried away uh, by certain people or that one person. But you have to know that if you're in a committed relationship, you better avoid these kind of temptations you see what i mean uh, because later on you are going to end up in a mess once again um, so you don't have to do that if you are happy with the person you have well and good stick there stick to them no need to you know uh, open doors for another relationship please because the fourth week uh, is quite a week full of temptations because a lot and lot of people whom you are going to meet uh, in your personal field as well as your professional field my dear Pisces so be careful of your choice at this point of time because I see a proposal coming for uh, some of the Pisces um, those who are single uh, and if you like this person, well, marriage is soon going to be on the cards, uh, my dear uh, Pisces. So, well, uh, all in all, it's all looking promising. And I also see, professionally speaking, there are going to be collaborations. There are going to be some new ventures, new contracts to be signed. But in partnerships, whatever is um, related to coming together, uh, we will see the signs of it in the last week of June. So please read your paper well enough before you sign any kind of a contract, reading between lines, because later on you don't want to invite any kind of troubles for yourself. So the fourth week is once again, it's all about networking, it's all about meeting, it's all about proposals, my dear Pisces. And it's funny because the first week and the last week they end on the same notes it's all about people people and people people <laughs> yes and then opportunities and opportunities <laughs> and in between we have the money and we have the divine blessings what more can we ask for dear Pisces right so here you are at the end of the reading and um, I wish you a wonderful wonderful blooming June have the wisdom to make the good choices because when there are a lot of opportunities what happens is that there is a lot of confusion because you don't know which one to take yes and then at that time ask your inner intuition to guide you my dear Pisces it's going to be very important at this point of time because you cannot have everything so you want the best and let your intuition let your heart guide you okay because yes the brain we need to be more logical in our approach but our intuition is the biggest weapon for all the Pisces and you are blessed by the divine with this wonderful intuition so use it and choose wisely and enjoy it in leisure right otherwise choose in haste and repent in leisure you don't want that so thank you for uh, watching this reading and I wish you a wonderful June. Happy holidays for those of you who are going to be on holidays too. I guess I'll also take some few days off <laughs> and um, have a wonderful um, summer.
ahead the month of june the sun is shining upon you my dear pisces make the most of it yes and please don't forget to subscribe like share comment and i'm going to see you in the month of july until then enjoy the june month bye bye dear pisces take care bye